The third gift to be received is the kingdom come, life in the spirit. I want to tell you a story about one of the women who came to live with us, Patty. So Patty came into our lives, and when her boyfriend found out she was pregnant, he gave her an ultimatum. And he said, okay, you pick me or the baby. And if you pick the baby, you can move out. Crushed and betrayed, she chose the child, and she moved into the convent with us. Although raised a Buddhist, Patty was often in the chapel uh, before we were for morning prayer. And she spent time in holy hour, and she would just look at Jesus. And during this time, she let him touch her. Touch her wounded heart, her bruised memory, her understanding of her identity, her sexuality. And reveal and speak truths to her about her dignity, his plan for life and love, her beauty. Her baby son came two months premature, which scared us all. And fearful for his health, Patty asked that he be baptized a Catholic at the hospital and given the name Patrick Joseph. He was put into the neonatal intensive care unit, one of those little incubators, and live he did. Patrick was a fighter. <laughs> he was so lethal. She could only hold him for 10 minutes a day because his heart raced so fast when he was in his mother's arms, he lost weight. I know. But it became like a real image of Holy Communion because Patty would prepare the whole day for her 10 minutes with Patrick, hold him for 10 solid minutes, and then put him back in and pray in Thanksgiving, basically, for the time she had with him and prepare herself the next day for her time with Patrick. This is powerful. Now, Patty realized, if this is what I want for Patrick in his death, this is what I want for both of us in our life. So she joined up with the RCIA classes and to enter the church. And one of our other guests who moved in, she had grown up in Russia and had never been ex exposed to religion, loved Patty so much and was so struck by her joy that she started going to RCIA class just to hang out with Patty. <laughs> so she's like, sisters, I'm gonna go with Patty to RCIA. I'm like, bye. <laughs> Have so much fun. <laughs> RCIA. So Patty's student visa was up, and she decided rather than try and figure out what to do with a premature baby as far as daycare is concerned, she decided to return to Thailand, where she was from. And she told the priest preparing her for her sacraments about this sudden change. And he said, Patty, you are indeed ready for baptism and First Holy Communion. And so I was with her the night before. Uh, the ceremony, and we went shopping. We were still looking for her baptismal garment. So I just want to paint the picture for you. Manhattan. Macy's. <laughs> Thanksgiving Day weekend. <laughs> 9 p.m. <laughs> Stores closed in an hour. We ran in, and uh, Sister Rita and Patty ran one way, and I have a three-month-old in arms, and I'm running the other way, and it was like chariots of fire. And at this point in my young religious life, I hadn't shopped for a while, so it was like very exciting. I was like, 66% off. So I'm rifling through the dress rack, and I don't, I don't know what I look like. You know, here I am. A sister <laughs> in full habit, dress shopping at night with an infant. <laughs> so the gentleman who worked there approached cautiously, <laughs> like, sister, can I? I said, yeah, you can pray that we find the most perfect baptismal garment for that young woman over there. Patty? Patty. No Patty to be seen. He was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, something like this? And he pulls it out, and he was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> had, like, pearls, like, all down the collar. It was, like, teacup length, fitter, like it was made for her. Details are important. <laughs> He went and got shoes that weren't even on sale in the back that matched perfectly. He said, tell her to pick out any accessory she wants. And when we got to the cash register, let me just tell you, that didn't add up. Totally generous family 
discount of some kind. <laughs> we don't know if he was an angel. We never saw him again. <laughs> but we never went back to Macy's. <laughs> so, anyway. When we got home, Patty was like, sister, my heart is going like this. I feel like tomorrow is my wedding day.